Hormone replacement is extremely controversial and has unfortunately been given a bad rap by abusive high performance athletes. Growth hormone is an essential hormone that everybody has. Everybody has and, is, and needs growth hormone to grow in adolescence and thereafter we need growth hormone to maintain our tissues. Growth hormone is essential to maintain bone, muscle, skin mass. With, without growth hormone we lose bone, we lose skin thickness, we lose muscle mass. Surprisingly growth hormone deficiency is also associated with loss of mental and sexual functioning, lower mood, as well as cognitive dysfunction. Growth hormone deficiency also leads to higher risk of heart attack, stroke. So we can see that lack of growth hormone is not something that we want. The million dollar question again is, does growth hormone replacement help recover those losses that come with aging? Now multiple studies have been done, smaller studies, limited studies, and have tried to look into this question but have not, have not given sufficient answers. Looking at a meta-analysis of some growth hormone studies has shown that growth hormone replacement can increase lean muscle mass and decrease fat mass. So the bottom line is that body morphology can be improved to a small extent with growth hormone replacement. Now the side effects of growth hormone need to be managed. Growth hormone should never be given or never be taken by somebody who is not deficient. This is where the athletes have run into problems. They've tried to take growth hormone at way higher levels than the body should get, than what is normally uh, physiologically apparent in the body, and have produced incredible risk and side effects. This has led the FDA to produce warnings and cautions about growth hormone has led the US Congress to have a special panel looking into growth hormone abuse. But it doesn't detract from the issue that in a person whose growth hormone is declining or is deficient, improvements in mental, sexual and physical function can be attained in some with careful, monitored, supervised, low dose growth hormone replacement. The key is safety. If we are able to carefully measure and evaluate a patient, we can then follow them long term to make sure that their growth hormone levels are maintained in a normal level, not excessive, and that way keep them safe. <laughs>